fix the lighting. That's better. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with my September wrap up for 2020 part 3. I read a total of 15 books this month so there's part 1 and part 2 up on my channel already if you want to check it out. And without further ado, here are the last 5 books that I read for the month of September. Let us get started! <sighs> The first book I have is To Have and To Hoax by Martha Waters and I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really really loved it. So this follows Violet and James who have been married for 5 years but due to an argument they have not spoken in 4. A letter arrives for Violet that states that James has been in a terrible riding accident so she rushes to their estate home in the country and she finds out that James is perfectly okay. So this causes Violet to decide that she is going to get her revenge by feigning illness. The only thing is is that James discovers this plan and this begins a little ridiculous war about one-upping each other and it's like the story of that. I loved this a lot more than I thought I was going to. I fell in love with these dumbass characters. They are so stupid and just witty and I loved their interactions and banter together. They were both just so ridiculously stubborn and over the top. Most of the time you just wanted to shake them and yell at them because they were both being just so stupid but it was so funny to read. The biggest complaint I have about the book and the reason why I didn't give it a full five out of five stars is because the amount of time that it took for the reader to find out why the argument four years ago took place was so long and by the time we did find out why it just seemed so anticlimactic and such a stupid reason for them to be fighting that it was just kind of like a big letdown but I really loved the supporting characters in this and I'm really looking forward to the spin-off series that are coming out I'm really hoping that like they cover all of the side characters because I'm in love with them all the next book that I have is Fable by Adrian Young and I give this a 3.5 out of 5 stars this book follows Fable who years ago her mother was killed in a shipwreck. Years later her father abandons her on an island and she needs to fend for herself in order to gather enough supplies in order to escape the island. She decides to bargain with the helmsman west for passage on the marigold in order to bring her to her father so that she can join his crew and it's like the story of that. First off I just want to say that I am in love with this cover. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera but in her eye there's like a little pirate ship which I I think like that detail is just so well done and cool. I've actually never read a pirate book so when I found out that this was pirates I was definitely intrigued. I think that it was a bit slow at the get-go but as the story progressed it became a lot more action-packed. I liked the story a lot more once Fable was off Javal. I think that her relationship with the crew members was really cool to see because every single crew member was unique in their own way and had different personalities that interacted with Fable in different ways. I also really enjoyed the complex relationship between Fable and her father but I do wish that we learned more about like why he was so standoffish and everything that was surrounding his story. I also really liked how the romance was not the main focus of this story. It was more of Fable and her trying to navigate the world. I'm intrigued by the second book so I will be picking it up if I can find a copy of it but I'm not even sure when that is being released. I also don't even know if it's a duology or a series but I'm gonna find a copy hopefully. The next book I have is Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keen and I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. So this follows up Francis Gleason and Brian Stanhope who are partners on The Force and they end up moving into the same neighborhood which introduces their two families together. Francis and Lena's youngest daughter Kate becomes instant friends with Brian and Anne's son Peter but an unfortunate act of violence tears these two apart and it's like the story of them finding one another again and the aftermath of that act. This is not the typical book that I read. When I first started it I thought it was something completely different and it took a turn that I did not anticipate. It focuses on a lot of darker topics than I initially thought that it would. It follows plot lines concerning mental illness, infidelity, alcoholism, abuse, like a lot of darker topics. I also really liked how the stories spanned across 
many many years following the two families and I also liked how there was no distinct like good or bad person in the story and we got to see all different perspectives which shone lights on different aspects of each event that took place. I liked being able to dive into each character's heads at some point in the story because you learned a lot more about other characters by doing that. I do think that the pacing was a bit slow at times and I was bored at times, but overall I did enjoy the story. So like I said, 3.5 out of 5. The next book I have is probably like my biggest disappointment of the month because I really wanted to like this book more than I did, but it is We Hunt the Flames by Hasaf Faisal and I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. So in the land of Arya, the women are seen as lesser than men, so Zafira is the infamous hunter of ours, and so she dresses up as a male in order to feed her village. Nasir is the son of the Sultan and also a feared assassin. He is given a task to kill the hunter before she completes her own mission from the Silver Witch, and it's like the story of that. Like I said, I'm very disappointed that I didn't love this book as much as other people do. I felt like it was very slow and just boring for the most part. I just found the middle to drag on so much that I was just not invested in the story at all. I did really enjoy the ending of the book though, and I wish that that same energy had transpired through the entire story. I found Zafira and Nasir to be okay characters, but I didn't really care that much about either of them. I was more interested in the Silver Witch and their backstory, and I wish there was more of a focus on that. My favorite character was definitely Altair, and I really wish that the focus was on him rather than Zafira, but I am a big fan of the enemies to lovers trope, so I definitely liked that aspect of the story. But overall, like, it was just a very average read for me. It's three out of five stars. And then the final book that I read for the month of September was the the Tenet by Katrine Edinburgh, and I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. After a woman was brutally murdered in her own apartment, two detectives are put on the case. They quickly realize that the murder is eerily similar to a manuscript of a horror novel that the landlord of the building is writing. So the two detectives need to act quickly in order to prevent fiction from becoming reality once again, and it's like the story of that. I found this book to be very average. It is trans translated from Dutch, I believe, so the writing style was a little bit choppy and I just didn't really like the way it flowed and I don't know if that's because it was written that way or due to the translation. I didn't really care about any of the characters. I wasn't really engaged in the story at all. I hated the main detective, Yepe. I found him to be insufferable and just an annoying character and I didn't like the choices that he made like romance wise in this book. I don't want to like give it away but I was just not a fan of him. <laughs> I was intrigued by the whole storyline with the case at the beginning but as the story dragged on and the twist kind of became a little bit too far-fetched in my opinion, it definitely brought the enjoyment level down for me and the big aha moment at the end was just very underwhelming at that point. I also found the ending to be very abrupt and it just didn't make any sense. I do know that this is supposed to be a series so maybe that is why and like the second book picks up right from the ending of this one. I don't know but I was not a fan so like it was very average like I said, 3 out of 5 stars. Alright everybody, so that was my wrap-up part three if you're interested in part one and two they will be linked down below so check those out if you want to watch them and see what else I read let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video goodbye